In this video, we are going to see how the AMD Picasso laser can be used for maxillary phrenectomy. This four-year-old had a frenum that was very thick. You can see under the operating microscope at various magnifications that the frenum actually goes right between the centrals. And then pulling on the frenum, you'll see blanching that occurs in the diastema and the tissue in between. We use chemical anesthetic in this case just to drop in three spots in the frenum on either side laterally and then once at the uh, tip itself. Using the laser at 2.2 uh, watts, 20 second pulse on, 20, 20 microsecond pulse duration, we start where the attachment is. You can see that we are using the laser with our right hand and pulling on the upper lip with our left hand and in doing so we're using the laser to separate the attachment pulling upwards. You can see initially a um, separation that occurs, and as we start to pull the frenum upwards, we continually move upwards in direction and continue to pull, moving laterally from side to side. The uh, frenum will open up almost as in a baseball diamond, and I continue to work between first and third base, and as you pull on the upper lip, you will find more and more of the frenum starts to separate, giving you a wider and wider diameter um, opening. You have to be careful not to get the, the uh, tissue um, accumulating on the tip of the laser. You can see a little blob of tissue there. The second part here, we're actually going further up and elevating the uh, frenum at the superior aspect here. You can see it's almost out of view and we're constantly looking for more fibers that are running in a vertical direction. As we elevated the lip, we could see there was a slight attachment on the underside of the lip and we needed to release that. And here again, you can see us pulling on the, the lip itself and lifting up and elevating higher and higher and opening up a larger and larger frenum. See no bleeding that's involved. And at this point, we're getting to a point where we know that the attachment is, is being released. And we've got a nice shaped diamond here. And we're going to turn our attention now to the underside of the upper lip where there is a little bit of tissue there. We're just going to remove that so that there's no... Uh, little remnants of the frenum that are irritating to the tongue and to the child at four years that they have to constantly play with. Uh, again, you have to be uh, constantly watching to make sure that when accumulation of tissue happens that you re remove it. Here's the final result at low mag and at high mag and you can see there's no bleeding. We'll let this fill in with granulation tissue and in 10 to 14 days it'll look perfect. Pulling laterally on the tissue you can see that there's a nice result. 